Okay, 1947 Ford 8N. Broken exhaust manifold bolt in the head. That's came off of those three, but of course that one. So we've already tried welding. Uh, there was part of the stud sticking out, so we welded a nut onto it and we took a torch and a welder. <laughs> You can see how this has kind of spiraled out of control. There's the nut we welded on, and we successfully welded it on. And then we put torch heat around the head, and then we very lightly took a socket and we tried to turn it, and of course it snapped off. So now we've come to the new method. We're down to this, so we used a transfer punch. And we got it a nice little punch directly in the center. So now we're going to go in, we're going to drill it out. And a lot of people say, well, why don't you weld a nut right on, right on there? But we've already had trouble with that method. And I think it's stuck in so tight. So at this point, we're going to drill it out very carefully, step it out. And if we're lucky, we can get it all the way out and then just run a tap through it. Worst case scenario, we have to put a Healy coil in it, but I'm hoping we don't have to get to that point. More to come. The thing about it is there's coolant in here, and once I drill that all the way through, coolant's gonna start spraying out. So I'm probably gonna get a bucket ready. The hole's pretty, pretty centered. It's maybe just a smidgen off. I'll try to pull it to the left a little bit. Threads are really in there. But we've made a perfect hole though. I mean, look at that. All right. Let's move on to the next phase. <laughs> All right, so left hand thread again. This is an 1130 seconds, <laughs> which means if we didn't have such a perfect hole, I wouldn't even be trying this. But the the bolt diameter the root diameter for the threads on the 7 16 bolt is right at 0 0.342 uh, and this drill or 350 354 i think is what we said it was and this drill is 342 so that gives me literally five thousandths on each side that i've got to deal with but we might eat up a little bit of the threads and also this is a left hand thread so it may just go ahead and screw it out See, that's what usually happens is it, it wants to get a hold of it and start tearing it. We may end up just using a tap. Because the worst thing would be, I may just get a punch in there and start eating some of them threads out because it is literally just going perfectly. And I hate to snap this drill bit off in there and then we really would be. Let me get a little punch and we'll just see what it looks like. Bust a couple of these threads out of there.
usually when it grabs like that, it'll just turn the threads right out. That's pretty much it. I think we can just run our tap in there now. There's a little tiny bit of meat left on there, but I think our tap will probably clean that out. All right, so we've resorted to trying the tap. 7 sixteenths, 14 thread. And the hope is that it'll start digging out. Okay, so we're making some progress. Just about through. That first part was tedious. There, I think we're through. I think that's it. I think we got lucky. Literally just used the tap to dig out that last five thousandths worth of thread. Let me blow it out of there real quick. I can kind of see some dirt in there, but but the stud threads in. So I mean, if I can get it that far by hand, you know it's going to go the rest of the way. <laughs> so just a quick look at what situation was of course this is where the exhaust pipe hooks up and the downspout hooks up on there but right there it had been leaking so long and the cast iron is actually corroded away you can see that so bought one off of eBay I think we only paid forty dollars for this and I uh, checked it and it looks pretty good I mean it's got a little bit of pitting on it and whatnot but It'll seal, we got gaskets. And then uh, we also cleaned this up pretty good. And there's a little bit of pitting on the head that I'm not happy with. We're gonna put some high temp sealer on there in the gasket. And we're gonna put sealer on the stud that goes in there to keep the coolant from leaking. up putting some sealer on them threads it's called prime seal it's the same stuff that I've used for ever since ever since the 80s so I don't know I claim it's good stuff and then we put this high temp sealer because it was pitted around there and some of them had some pits I know a lot of guys don't want to use sealer on these but I won't put any on the manifold because the manifold actually looks pretty good I mean it's got a few little pits here and there I don't know I think we'll just put it on it should have fit the exact same way as these other ones this is the way this other one came off and then we bought the actual brass um, nuts that they recommend we bought a nut kit and they said to use these brass ones and to torque it to a specific torque and I looked it up a month ago but we'll have to double check and, and see see what it is these are kind of a booger to get started all right so we looked up the torque spec and on those brass nuts it's 27 foot pounds so I'm just running these down. Okay, 
intake hose and this, but before we get all the way in, I want to hook up the governor. So this one goes to the choke, we decided. Let me look at this now. And this one. Yeah, this one goes to the carburetor for the throttle. It's really hard to... Yeah. So you gotta pull it that way. You pull it, put it on, and then let go. All right, so we got the carburetor tightened up. We got that connection on. We was able to straighten out this rod a little bit and got it lengthened. And then the problem was originally was the knob up here on the choke. This little knob right there, when we went to unscrew it, it broke off. So we've got a new knob ordered, but there's just enough, there's just enough room. I mean, it won't fall back in there now. So we can manually pull the choke on like that. There we go. So it works, but we got a new knob and there's just enough threads there. I think we can thread on a, a new knob on there. So other than that, we're about ready to Put, we're gonna put new fuel line on it and new fuel filter and hook up that. And we're waiting on that Permatex to dry for the high temp uh, sealer. So tomorrow, we're gonna let it set 24 hours. So tomorrow we'll be ready to fire this beast up. Well, this is the moment of truth. We're fueling her up. Are we ready? Yep. job is complete um, we fired it up we let it run for a little while everything looks good we put the, on all the new fuel lines on the stud was a pain in the butt but we we made it through it it was the hard way to do it and I only recommend doing it that way when everything else fails but we managed to drill a straight hole and we managed to cut the thread so I'd say we got lucky but I think we're done so thanks for watching